is very important. Take the Biafra agitation serious. Every authority, there come a time when a revolution is about to take place. The power of gun, bombs, and bullets cannot hold an ideology. <laughs> The liberation and revolution for Biafra freedom has begun. God began to speak to me about Biafra. I said, I see an animal. Which animal did I tell you last time? Huh? I said, What? A what? A what? A small puppy. And I say, I see a small puppy going forward. All of a sudden, I saw so many strange, wild animals, lion, bear, great animals around the puppy. Then I saw the puppy look back and saw that the animals around him are so many. Suddenly the puppy, what I saw last month is different from what I'm seeing now. The puppy is developing some futures of wild animals. And listen to Simon Epa, who is doing a very fantastic job. Very great job that Simon Epa is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and share his videos accordingly. Very, very important. He is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we are making. And you must listen to him. Very, very important. Oh, do go go Oh, do go and go call God. Biafra people all over the world, I welcome you this evening. I'm here to give you a shout out. Oh, do go and go call God. Ah, my greetings to Biafra people. My greetings to all of you. My greetings to the wonderful people of Biafra. Greetings to the indomitable, undefeatable. Biafra government in exile. Greetings to those that believe in the freedom of Biafra. Greetings to those that says enough is enough. And then we did. Obanyoko. Odo go adigo kogade. Odo go adigo kogade. I welcome every one of you this evening. Here in Emebo, America Wonder. For Biafra people, Prime Minister Batagun will do also. Now keep us one. Guy will leave away, Pido. I have come this evening after a very hectic day to give a shout out to Biafra people for the way we are defeating the enemy of our freedom is something that worth celebrating. We will continue to celebrate. We will continue to celebrate the defeat of the enemy of Biafra. Because they will never rise again. Oh, don't go go call God. I have come this evening, like I said, to give shout out to the Biafra people, those who knows that the time for liberation and freedom has come. I have one message for those who say they are going to die fighting Simon Ekpa. You are going to die. For those who say they will not leave to see Simon Ekpa to get Biafra. You shall not leave to see Simon Ekpa to get Biafra. We don't need you. And I want to say it this evening. Those who look for our downfall, they shall fall. Those who say their job is to attack and blackmail us, they shall not know peace. Their ordeal will continue to eat them up by the day, by the night, by afternoon, and all the days of their life until Biafra is restored. Biafra people, I want to tell you this evening to ask yourself 
those who have been traveling from their comfort in public was works against it in secret. The family of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazin Namdekano, has threatened to name politicians who allegedly mouth his release in public but work against him in secret. Kano's younger brother, Prince Emmanuel Kano, who gave the threat in a chat with Wawa News Global, regretted that some politicians pretend to be champion, championing the release of Kano in public but in their secret meetings strongly support his continued detention. He wondered how his continued incarceration would serve their selfish interests even when they know the obvious implications. Describing such attitude as height of hypocrisy and sabotage of regional interest. The family spokesperson who said they had detailed of individuals involved and advised them to pull back or be exposed. We know all of them who shout release Nam the Kano in public but in secret and their private meetings, they say hold him. We have their information because we are being briefed every day. They should know that we know them and we name them. We want to alert the whole world that we have information about such politicians and they should be held accountable for whatever happens to our son. The IPOB leader whose continued detention is believed to be fueling the distributing disturbing insecurity in the southeast has remained in a solitary confinement at the Abuja headquarters of Department of State Service DSS since June 2021 following his extraordinary rendition from Kenya. Despite growing appeals, court orders and even the United Nations opinion on human rights for his unconditional release, the federal government has refused to free him. The Supreme Court also on December 15, 2023 refused to affirm the earlier court judgment ordering his immediate release, although the Apex Court scolded the federal government of his extraordinary rendition. There have also been growing concerns over Kano's failing health, but the federal government is yet to show any sign of settling for political solution and the debacle. Although he is still under custody, Kano's support base has continued to swell even among the diaspora Igbo community. Igbo youth, both home and in the diaspora, who feel that the race is being unjustly marginalized and politically excluded at the center, now see Kano as a hero and a beckon of hope who is being unjustly persecuted for championing their cause. And my people, when I don't see, I see they happen for this side, uh, and Amaze and the Kano's uh, family, they talk this one. Uh, they don't the talk say as they be. Uh, say they themselves, they go open the gnash of people. <laughs> what we say for front people face, uh, they talk say, uh, uh, free am, free am, free am, free am, free am. I'm for him back. They, they talk say, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> they don't say they go release him. I see the B, uh, they say 17 resident, residents killed while poor scores abducted as government attack communities in Kaduna State. It don't show for the people will be said they live for that axis, especially for the northern part. It they happen for the east too, uh, but if you compare what is happening in the northern state and what is happening here, my brother, uh, you will miss it for people where we say that they live for that side because plenty of people are see they be done there for IDP, uh, IDP camp uh, because say uh, their home no day, house no day again. And I think um, it's high time the government of uh, the Northern Pass start helping their indigents to be able to afford to build a good house. Of course, you know that if you go to this, um, you know, why I am um, pitting for these people is because uh, they are all human beings like us. And I believe that the government will be able to provide a solution because it's not only, you know, being in the office, answering governor, president, senator, and the rest of them. Uh, you are representing a particular constituency as a house member, as a senator. And in your constituency, you see that things are not going well. The kind of, you know, uh, memming and massacre where we say they go on for this obodo. Uh, Don't reach say, uh, may they sack all the uh, politicians where we say they represent these places. Uh, but now for Africa, we did uh, such thing, not they happen. Uh, not only for UK, you can see say one politician saying don't resign because say members know they do 
uh, waiting day for their memo or waiting day for their manifesto as a particular political party. But here, a uh, political party no get any ideology. You go see one politician will go move from one other party uh, to the other party. Meanwhile, let's go down to waiting they happen for that cardinal. At least 17 people were killed, why 58 We are feared, kidnapped in an operation that lasted for six hours after government invaded three communities on Tuesday night at Daki World in Kanuru, local government area of Kaduna State. A former councillor of the world, Honorable Aminu Khalid, disclosed this in an interview with Punch, adding that three affected villages were Guan, Sako, Kanurari, and Dokankaji village. He explained that some of the locals were able to rescue 22 villagers in a gun duel, but 19 vigilantes were killed in the process. He said that four of the locals are still in their custody, while contact was yet to be established with the terrorists. He lamented the constant attack on the communities by terrorists while calling on military intervention. Now, uh, if you look at what just uh, what I just read, so, uh, you going to Abuja in the name of meeting Mazenam the Khan in order to blackmail the Afra struggle. They left their comfort zone. They went to meet a man who is in dungeon, not in prison, no, in dungeon, illegally being detained, only for them to go there. And then some of them did not even see him. They will come out and try to give you a message. The Mazenam can say, oh, no sit at home. Mazenam can say, no, none of you are asking them. Is it now about the sit at home or is it about the fact that a man is being detained illegally at the DSS dungeon. All these idiots, all these criminals, they will leave their comfort zone, travel to Abuja, and then come back from Abuja to their comfort zone as free men, only for them to come to TV to talk about somebody who is struggling for his own freedom. How he is concerned about sit at home. And so people are listening and believing to that. Of course, nobody listening to that. The reason why we have not been making, uh, you know, addressing this thing on the broadcast is because we are now in action time. This is the time for action. This is not the time to come and start making broadcast. I got to go broadcast. Here in Okita, have action time. The liberation of Biafra. Woto, woto. Nigeria army will be collecting it woto, woto. Those who come to kill in the name of Ebubago will be collecting it woto, woto. That's where we are. We are no longer the time of the era of brokers. However, the new dimension is really coming now. What you have seen before is not even compared to what is going to be happening. Going forward, going forward, you are going to see the new dimension of the Biafra liberation. I want you to know that you can't go to Abuja to meet somebody who is struggling for his freedom and the person is more concerned about sit at home. It doesn't make sense. We have made it very clear. Mazi Namdekano is the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Simon Ekpa is the prime minister of Biafra Republic government in exile. Know this and know peace. Once you know this, you will know peace. But if you refuse to know this, you will never know peace. I remain the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in exile, and as a matter of fact, I remain in charge. And if you don't want me to be in charge, bring Mazinam Dikano out. Stop all this nonsense of Mazinam Dikano control Biafra from prison. It doesn't work. It can never work, and will never work. We are well-educated people, very sensible people, very smart generation that you cannot deceive. You don't expect Biafra people freedom. Bring Mazinam Bikano out and stop antagonizing what Simon Ekpa is doing in his own way to bring Biafra. Mazinam Bikano was not your friend in 2021, before 2021. Some of you going to seek advice from him 
was the one who masterminded his kidnapping from Kenya. And the same man today you are running to for help. If you know that Mazinam Dekano is now somebody to be listening to, bring him out to stop me. But so long as he continues to be illegally detained at the GSS dungeon, you must come to term. People, you don't know what you have done to yourself. Freedom fighting is a fight to finish. I have come to end and stop and finish the fight that Ojuku started over 50 years ago. So all of you that you see Simon Ekpa as an obstacle to whatever nonsense you are doing with Nigeria, believe me, I am just knocking at the door. I have not started. I told you people that the time is coming when you are going to know who Simon Ekpa is. It's time is fast approaching. So if you are not happy with the fact that Simon Ekpa is in charge and the new sheriff in town, bring Mazinam Bikano out to stop me. And if you cannot do that, you will run. Ember fire. Of course, you know what is uh, fire ember. And, and to, to make a speak and for you, but if you say uh, they don't bomb, would finish. Another person contacts say, he say, Oga PM, uh, he say, he use uh, Igbo dialect, talk and he say, I can let go, uh, say all the things we say they do, say with the hear them, say, Kachineke, uh, Bagume, now somebody they talk this one, uh, say, make you carry the go, say, make you leave them, say, me they do their Christmas and New Year, say, may there be no violence as they be. Uh, but as it be, uh, or another information from the NIG side, see as the reports they go, they say residents defy IPOB sit at home to celebrate their Christmas. Residents of Nigeria Southeast Monday defy the infamous sit at home order in the region in celebration of this year's Christmas. Christians across the globe usually celebrate Christmas of 25th December to mark the birthday of Jesus. Meanwhile, residents of the Southeast before now observe the sit at home order on Mondays, which often turns the region into a ghost region on such days with business and movements grounded. The sit at home action is usually enforced by the indigenous people of Biafra, a group seeking cessation of Southeast and some part of South 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 region from Nigeria. The group said. It is enforcing the sit at home in order to compel the Nigerian government to release its detained leader, Nam De Khan, who is facing terrorism charges in Abuja. On Christmas Day, residents of the region shone the order and went about their celebration of the annual event. Inenugu Onyeka Ayibo told Premium Times that there was no sign of a sit at home order in the state, there is no restriction of movement. I have gone to many places in Enugu metropolis and people were moving about. Vehicles are on the road, he said. Though today is supposed to be sit at home, but because of Christmas, it did not hold. There is no fear too, Mr. Anibo, the resident of Maryland area of the state, said. Ebere Obeta, a shop owner in Obwetme Market, said, although the market did not open due to the Christmas celebration, Many business owners conducted their businesses in front of the market. Mrs. Obeta, who deals in children wear, said the surrounding of the market was a behave of activities as buyers trooped in and out to buy goods. We did not notice any sit at home at all. Everybody was just busy trying to either buy or sell their goods, she said. People came out in mass and bought Things from the market, Izichuku Ugu, a resident of Unsoka, said, eh, My people, when I don't see, I see they happen, they shell it. This word is coming from uh, Edugu State, where we say people they give reports uh, of the thing, where we say it happened. Uh, everybody does see as it they go, uh, my own, we say, Ozemezena. Uh, make people, where we say they supposed to do the right thing, uh, may they do the right thing. The question, where we say, I they always ask, we say, uh, now the leaders, now then they prepare the constitution and then they still disobey the constitution. A uh, poor man do small things they carry and put for sale, but big man, 
they they carry billions of naira. Of course, you see the uh, the information where the trend uh, based on Minister Buhari Minister where we say they said the woman carried thirty seven billion uh, 